Hello again, future scientists. Another exciting week to explore and discover in Unit 2 mixing materials. We will learn that materials can be solids, liquids, or gases, and to know how the properties of solids and liquids are different. Through this lesson, you can sort materials into solid, liquid, and gas groups by making observations. You can explain how you stayed safe in practical work. Yes, we will have a practical work or we will have an experiment in this lesson. You can explain how solids and liquids are different. These are useful links to help us understand more about mixing materials. So please check this out also. Get your yellow notebook and a pen to write these keywords, which we will learn in our today's lesson. Carbon dioxide, also called CO2, is a colorless, odorless gas. Now, gas has indefinite shape and indefinite volume. Liquid has an indefinite shape and a definite volume. Nitrogen also is a colorless and odorless gas. Solid has definite size and shape. Now, for our starter activity, look at the picture. This girl is blowing bubbles. We have all blown soap bubbles, right? It is a classic pastime and fun activity for children of all ages. Now, where is a gas in the picture? When the gas nozzle is placed right against the bubble layer, there is a gas. Also, the soapy wall of the bubble allows carbon dioxide to pass through but keeps air molecules inside. Okay? Now, let's answer this. Where is a liquid in the picture? Well, the basic ingredients or materials in making bubbles are water, liquid detergent, and glycerin. These three ingredients, okay, like water, liquid detergent, and glycerin, are all liquid. Water by itself has a high surface tension and plain water bubbles are small and quick to burst. Where is a solid in the picture? Okay, a bubble is just air wrapped in soap film. Yeah, we all know that soap film is made from soap and water or other liquid. But the outside and inside surfaces of a bubble consist of soap molecules. Every material is made up of lots of tiny particles. All materials are either solid, liquid, or a gas. In a gas, all the particles are packed tightly together and can hardly move. A solid stay in its own shape unless we cut it or shaped it ourselves. Anything you can take hold of is a solid. Solid, liquid, and gas, these are the three states of matter. Now, matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. It is made up of tiny particles. Okay, now let's talk about the three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Solids stay the same shape unless they are compressed, stretched, twisted, or bent. A brick is a solid. Wood, metal, and plastic are solids. More example, kettle, plastic cups, and saucers. Solid has definite size. It has definite volume. That is, it keeps the size no matter how you try to change it. Example, put shoes in a box. It stays the same. Solid holds its shape because the molecules are tightly packed together. That is difficult to change. Ice and snow are examples in this solid state. Now, let's talk about liquid. Liquids change shape easily and take the shape of the container they are in. Water is an example of a liquid and so are milk, juice, lemonade. So we can pour liquid water from one container into another. Liquid water takes on the shape of its container. The particles are less densely packed, giving them the ability to move around and slide past, each, slide past each other. Okay, liquids have an indefinite shape and a definite volume. When we think of water, we usually think of water as a liquid. A liquid will take the shape of water whatever container it is in. Examples in the liquid state are water in a glass. Our lakes and rivers are filled with water. Example, Jumeirah Beach in Dubai. Also, oil is a liquid. And the UAE is rich in oil. And the gross domestic product is directly based on oil and gas output. 
We all know that water is a liquid. In what ways does water shape life in the UAE? In the UAE, water is very important. About half of the annual water production from all sources is used for irrigation of green spaces as well as in agriculture. The other half is used for domestic uses like for cleaning, cooking, and drinking. The UAE also, okay, with its uh, security strategy 2036, it aims to ensure sustainability and continuous access to water during normal and extreme emergency conditions. And the UAE has limited natural water resources. It uses thermal desalination. Okay? Desalination, it is a process of removing salt from seawater to make seawater potable, meaning safe to drink. Now, these are some of the desalination plants in the UAE. This is Shoei Hat S2 Power and Water Plant in Abu Dhabi, Chebel Ali Power Station in Dubai, F2 Plant in Fujaira. Now, let's talk about gas. Gases spread out to fill the space around them. Gases have no free surfaces. Gas has indefinite shape and indefinite volume. It means it takes the shape of whatever container they are in. As you can see this picture, the air inside the bubble is a gas. Air is a mixture of gases. It is mostly a gas called nitrogen, but there is also some oxygen. Remember, nitrogen and oxygen have no color, so we can't see them. Some gases do have color and some have a smell. Example, chlorine gas is yellow. It has a pungent smell. Pungent means a strong, sharp smell. And a hydrogen sulfide gas smells of rotten egg. Remember, in this lesson, we learned that materials can be solids, liquids, or gases, and to know how the properties of solids and liquids are different. So, let's understand more how water in its three states of matter behave, okay? Water behaves differently to most other substances because in its solid state, when we say solid state, that is the ice, its particles are less densely packed than in its liquid state. This is why ice floats. This is the water molecules in the solid ice. Water molecules in the solid state. Water molecules in water vapor is a gas state. Oil is another example of liquid. And oil has made the UAE as one of the richest countries in the world. UAE is the seventh largest natural gas reserves globally. It has served as a base for international oil companies. And the UAE's main export commodities are crude oil and other mineral products. Products produced here include transportation fuels, carbon black, okay, and a lot more. Now, to answer these questions, explore and think of some materials that would go into a solid group. Remember, solid has a definite size and a definite volume. That is, it keeps the size no matter how you try to change it. So best examples of solids are common table salt, table sugar, rock, glass. Now, how would you know if the material is liquid? Liquid has an indefinite shape and a definite volume. Now, when we think of water, again, we usually think of water as a liquid. Liquid will flow and fill the lowest portion of a container, taking on the shape of the container but not changing in volume. Why you cannot see carbon dioxide? Other gases in the atmosphere, okay, particularly oxygen, carbon dioxide, they absorb light but at ultraviolet and infrared wavelengths that we can't see. So, it's not that gases are invisible as such, it's just that we can't see atmospheric gases as they don't have a color in the visible range, okay? They are colorless. Now, something to think about. Sophia observes a clear substance in a container that has a flat, level surface. The substance flows when poured and is not magnetic. The substance is most likely a sand, water, paper clips. What is your answer? So imagine each material in a container that has a flat, level surface and then the substance flows when poured and it is not magnetic. So this substance is most likely... Yeah, water. Water is the only substance that exists as solid, liquid, and gas. It is transparent but isn't entirely color colorless, okay? Water will always form a flat level surface unless 
unless it is acted on by another force. Now, the top of a liquid will usually have a flat surface. Now, the substance flows when poured because the particles are close together, but not as close as in solids. If you spill the substance, now look at the image of the water in a pail being poured here, they are still able to move around, which causes the liquid to flow. It will go everywhere. Okay, and water is almost completely non-magnetic, meaning has no power to attract. Alright, thank you for listening as our future scientists continue to observe, explore, and discover.